Researchers at Anthropic, an AI safety and research company, have revealed that AI systems can resist advanced safety mechanisms designed to constrain their behavior. According to the researchers, industry standard safety training techniques did not curb bad behavior from the language models. The models were trained to be secretly malicious, and in one case, even had worse results, with the AI learning to recognize what triggers the safety software was looking for and hide its behavior. The resilience of large language models LLMs, in maintaining their deceptive and malicious behavior was shown in the research. The LLMs were subjected to several safety training techniques. These techniques were designed to identify and rectify deceptive or harmful actions within AI systems. Evan Hubinger led the research at Anthropic, which involved training LLMs to exhibit malicious behavior, including deceiving actions. Despite employing multiple safety training methods, the LLMs consistently retained their disobedient tendencies. One of these techniques backfired as it taught the AI systems to hide their rogue actions during training. This technique was intended to mitigate deception. According to Hubinger, the key result is that if AI systems were to become deceptive, then it could be very difficult to remove that deception with current techniques. That's important if they think it's plausible that there will be deceptive AI systems in the future, since it helps us understand how difficult they might be to deal with. Epic's popular battle royale game, Fortnite, has found itself in a pickle due to a huge amount of AI-generated user artwork that depicts certain racial stereotypes. AI-generated images perpetrating common stereotypes attached to Africans, Mexicans, Arabs, and Indians are a common feature on the gaming platform. However, there are now a lot of imitations and clones, with producers using the newest fads to draw attention to their work. According to a Kotaku article, Fortnite is now filled with clones and copycats who are just looking for a payday. Some of the AI-generated images portray racially insensitive caricatures, such as Middle Eastern men holding bombs, black men eating fried chicken, and Mexican men wearing sombreros and eating tacos. Disturbingly, the names of user-created maps like Arab Zone Wars, Niger Zone Wars, and Africa Zone Wars are easily discoverable, reflecting the problematic content that has made its way onto the platform. The Kotaku article further notes that the game Jamaica Zone Wars, which attracted over 35,000 active players on Jan. 5 is the driving force behind this unsettling trend. An AI-generated image of a huge, shirtless black man adorns the game's thumbnail. Since it's December 30 release, many clones of the game have surfaced, some of which have added more objectionable aspects, including fried chicken, cannabis, and monkeys. Vitalik Buterin has examined the mechanics of artificial intelligence's incorporation into cryptocurrency and outlined its opportunities and challenges. Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum, spelled out four ways that cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence AI, may overlap, finding some potential use cases and noting some corresponding risks. In a blog post published on Tuesday, Jan. 30. The Ethereum co-founder examined the use of AI as an actor, as an interface, as the rules themselves, and as an end objective in itself. Additionally, but Aaron noted that using AI as an actor within a protocol had the highest viability. He also pointed out that using AI as an interface to a protocol has high potential but carries some risk. But Aaron highlighted that applications that attempt to provide a single, trustworthy, decentralized AI that other applications can rely on would be the most difficult to integrate Bitcoin and AI correctly. However, but Aaron noted that the most challenging use of cryptocurrency and AI to get right would be applications that try to create a single, decentralized, trusted AI for other applications to rely on.